Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Before you go shopping for emergency prepping or survival supplies, shop the supplies that you already have in your home. You may find you have the things that you need to utilize them for the things that you want. For example, I wanted a new kit for my car. I wanted something that I could keep in the interior space, but it wasn't in the way. You still had room to put your feet didn't take up too much space and I could move it into the trunk if I wanted. So I found one of my hiking fanny pack types. It's a belt bag that goes around your waist. It has lots of room in it, several pouches, but it's in a narrow format so it doesn't take up as much room as a backpack. It already has holders for water bottles. You can use refillable ones or ones that you purchase at the store. There's room for two, which is really handy. It has a great big pouch in the back. There's a middle sized pouch. And then there's even a zipper pouch that's net that you could put little things into if you needed to. <clears throat> they come with straps if you wanted to tie extra gear on them when you're outside and you're hiking. But the best part about this is because it has a clip. I can hang it around the headrest in my car. Then I have it accessible to whatever needs I have. I can clip this on, pull up the strap to adjust it to fit the headrest or the back of the seat in my car, and it doesn't take up as much room as a long hanging item. There's room for your feet, and there's even room still for your knees. So you can still have passengers and supplies. Plus you can always just toss this into the back of the car, into the trunk, and if you have like an SUV, you can even hang this over a headrest that goes into the cargo compartment, so it's completely out of the way. What kind of supplies should you put in your car emergency kit? The same kind of supplies you would want in any kind of an emergency. Keep snacks simple. Choose things that have a long shelf life that are okay to store no matter if your car gets cold or hot. This pack works great because there's a spot to hold water bottles, whether they're ones that you fill yourself or you buy from the store. And you can always toss in a few aqua tabs to purify water in an emergency. Have a way to make a fire, stay warm, heat up food in an emergency. That can all fit in your back of the seat car emergency kit. Need light? It can be anything from a flashlight, a headlamp, a candle, even a glow stick. Add some first aid supplies. You can make your own kit or buy one that's pre-made. Have some shelter, an emergency blanket, a rain poncho, a bivy bag. Have some basic hygiene supplies, wet wipes, toothbrush, Kleenex, bug spray, sunscreen, a hairbrush, the things you don't want to be without. Toilet paper should be in every emergency kit. Add some tools. Knives, multi-tools, nail clippers, sewing kits, eyeglass repair kits, carabiners, a whistle, an extra key to your house, a can opener. Add some useful things like an umbrella, hand warmers, charging cords for your electronics. Maybe you need supplies for your baby, feminine hygiene needs. Do you bring your pets along? Add some gloves. Maybe a pair of clean socks. In nearly any emergency situation, cash is your friend and can help you through just about anything. Group things in ways that make sense for you. Load them all up and hang it in your car. Hang it on the back of a seat. Stick it in the trunk. Shop the supplies you have in your home and make emergency kits to fit your needs. Remember, there's no one perfect answer of what goes in a kit. It's the things that mean the most to you, the things that you think are most important. Take suggestions for important prepping, survival, and emergency gear, but just remember, it's still up to you to decide what are the most valuable items that you would want to have to face whatever comes your way. Make your kits and emergency gear personal and meet your needs. That's how you're really going to be successful, having the things that you want, you know how to use, and make you feel safe. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.